Minnesota freshman Congress member Ilhan Omar says she's received a spike in death threats since President Trump tweeted a video juxtaposing her image with footage of the 9-11 attacks. Trump posted the 43-second video Friday with the caption, We Will Never Forget. Trump's tweet intercut video of the World Trade Center towers burning with video of Omar speaking about the increasing attacks on the Muslim American community after 9-11. Omar was speaking at a Council on American Islamic Relations event last month. Far too long we have lived with the discomfort of being a second-class citizen. And frankly, I'm tired of it, and every single Muslim in this country should be tired of it. CARE was founded after 9-11, because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. Congressmember Omar's comments were originally taken out of context and circulated by right-wing media, from The Daily Caller to Fox News. In a statement, Congressmember Omar said, quote, "...since the president's tweet Friday evening, I've experienced an increase in direct threats on my life, many directly referencing or replying to the president's video. This is endangering lives. It has to stop," she said. In New York City, Yemeni bodega owners responded to Trump's attacks against Congressmember Ilhan Omar by announcing they're boycotting the sale and purchase of the New York Post over its front page attack on Omar. The Murdoch owned daily paper featured an image of the burning Twin Towers on 9 11, referencing Omar's comment out of context. 9 11 was some people did something, and the words here's your something in large print over the photo. The Yemeni the American Merchants Association said the cover provoked hatred and targeted people of the Muslim faith.